This video will give a quick overview of Google Classroom from the student's perspective as well as from the parent guardian perspective. Let's first start with the parent guardian perspective. So as a parent guardian, you can receive email summaries showing your student's progress in Google Classroom. You will receive an invite to get this started. So let's take a look at what that will look like. It's important to note that your invitation is going to be sent to the email address you provided to the district. It will say get Google Classroom email summaries and you're going to want to open that email up. If you scroll through it will show you that you've been invited as a guardian for your child and you'll see a blue button that says accept. So you'll click accept and you're going to follow the steps. So it says get classroom email summaries. You've been invited to get email summaries and it's showing you which account I'm signed in for. I'm going to accept for this one because this is the email address I want my emails to go to. I'll click accept. And then the next window is going to ask me the frequency that I want to receive my email summaries. I want to receive my email summaries more frequent. You have two options, weekly and daily. I'm going to select daily because I want to get my email summaries frequently. So I'll switch it to that. I'm going to want to make sure my time zone is correct. And that's it. I've signed up and accepted the invitation to get email summaries for my child Google Classroom account. Let's now take a look at what a Google Classroom Guardian Summary will look like. In this sample, you'll see student work, and underneath that, if your student has missing work, it will be listed under there per subject. For example, here there's some missing work from history or ELA. Then the next part shows you what is due in the upcoming week. If you scroll down further, you'll then see all the class activity listed per subject. So you first have maybe your history class with assignments and everything that was included in there. If you scroll down further, you'll see every subject and within that all of the assignments, announcements that the class had for that week. Now let's take a quick tour of the student side of Google Classroom. So once a student is signed in with their school email address, in Google Chrome, they will see a little checkerboard or waffle icon next to that. You can click on that and jump to all the different apps in Google. I'm going to go into Google Classroom. In this window, I will see all of the classes that I have joined. For this example, I only have one class, so this is the one tile that I'm seeing right here. It says the class name the teacher's name, and a quick view of the upcoming lessons that are due. I can also click on this icon that shows the work for my class, and this folder connects to the folder in Google Drive with all the files that I need for this class. On the left-hand side, this little three-line icon or hamburger icon, if you click on that, you can also take a quick peek at all the different items in here. There's a calendar you can click on and it shows you all of the due dates that are coming up for your class. You can also take a quick jump to all the other classes you have. Again, I only have one class in this example. So let's jump into the class now. Here is my class and on the top you'll see three tabs, stream, classwork, and people. Let's take a look at stream. So in stream you will see all of the announcements and most recent assignments posted by the teacher. On the left hand side you'll see a quick window of upcoming things that are due. You can click view all to see all of the assignments that are due. Something that's helpful is the filters. You can filter by things that are assigned, things that have been returned, 
and maybe I have some missing assignments I want to look for, I would find those there. So that's the stream. Let's take a look at the Classwork tab in Google Classroom. In this tab, you'll find all of the assignments as well as any materials that the teacher has posted for the class. They're all divided by topics, and you'll see the topics on the left-hand side. You can use this menu to quickly jump to the different topics, just like that. And you can also just scroll down. Within the topics, you'll see different assignments or materials, and those are labeled by different icons. Assignments are just like this with a little piece of paper. You'll also see an icon for material that looks like this, a little piece of paper with like a bookmark icon. And you might also see a question icon. That is just a question that the teacher has posted to the class that they want you to answer. If you open an assignment, you'll see all of the details that the teacher has included. If there's a document attached to the assignment, you can click on that document, add any information that you have to fill out for the assignment, and then when you're ready, you can click Turn In. This will turn in your assignment directly to the teacher. If for whatever reason you have to make a change, you can always unsubmit and turn it in once again. If you'd like to take a quick view of everything that you have assigned, things that you still need to turn in, things that might be missing, you'll want to click on View Your Work in the Classwork tab. Let's take a look at this. So in here, I have everything that has been assigned to me returned and things that are missing. You can filter through all of this on the left-hand side. You can also just take a quick scroll through and see the title is on the left-hand side, the due date, if there's a due date, it's gonna be in the middle, and on the far right, you'll see whether you've turned it in or not, and if it's been graded. Another helpful place to look for all your things that you still have to do is on the far top left corner, the little hamburger icon. If you click that, you'll see to do. Click to do, you see two tabs on the top. One says to do, and this lists everything that you still have not completed. And you also have a tab that says done. This is all the work that you've already turned in that's been graded. And so this is a very helpful quick view of what you have to do still and what's already done.